Hello and welcome to Diabetes 180. This is Lewis Burtis, your physician assistant and diabetes reversal health coach. Our topic for today is how to lower your insulin needs in weeks, the fat connection. I've decided to split this into three parts because I want to make sure you walk away thoroughly convinced. I know this is a crazy idea that you can lower your insulin needs in weeks with just this simple thing, lowering your fat intake, but it's nothing new. It's backed by over a hundred years of evidence-based research, and I want to share some of that evidence with you. So if you have diabetes, um, like the many patients I've treated over the years, you've probably experienced an increasing need of insulin and an increasing need of other medications as well. This shows that your diabetes health is not getting better, but worse. And the other sad truth is the more insulin you take, the more health complications that you may experience over time. So how can we do it? How can we lower our need for insulin and improve our diabetes health? Well, it's simply in the fat. <laughs> um, of course, there's other me uh, measures, but the fat intake is one of the hugest ways to lower your need of insulin. Dr. Sweeney in 1937 performed a very simple experiment. He took medical students, male medical students that didn't have diabetes, healthy, and they were put on a few different diets. One, a high fat diet that consisted of, consisted of oil, mayonnaise, cream, butter, a high protein diet consisting of lean meats, egg white, you know, and a high carb diet consisting of all the things diabetics shouldn't eat, you know, uh, sh uh, sugary, uh, candy, uh, white sugar, white bread, white rice, potatoes, uh, and that's all they they ate for two days. So all these, these group, this group, uh, was given these these specific diet guidelines, and they adhered to them for two days. After this, they were given a glucose challenge. What's that? Uh, that's when you take a sugary solution uh, and you drink it. It usually contains about fifty grams of glucose. And then after 30 minutes, your glucose is checked. You know, 60 minutes later, your blood sugar is checked again. And two hours later, your blood sugar is checked again to see if your body's insulin was able to take the sugar out of the blood because that's one of the jobs of insulin, right? To take the sugar out of the blood and put it in the cells. The high fat group performed the worst. They had the highest elevations per interval when it came to the glucose challenge. The high carb diet performed the best. You know, they had a range between 80 and 140, which is normal for a person without diabetes. But these non-diabetic individuals who had a high fat diet, on the contrary, their glucose challenge showed elevations over 140, which is evidence of diet. They were eating their way in just two days towards diabetes. Um, he wasn't the only one to show this. Dr. Hemsworth, a renowned clinician and researcher, performed a very similar uh, study and he had the same results. With his study, the high fat group had elevations as high as 200 milligrams per deciliter after two to three hours of administering glucose after eating a high fat diet. He went a little further and he decided to split uh, several different diets up, high fat diets, from 13% to 80% fat. And so several group, uh, groups of people were put on uh, on a diet ranging from 13% to 80% fat to see, is there really something about fat and insulin? And the studies were consistent. The more fat in the diet, the less sensitive your body was to insulin because the sugar stayed trapped in the blood, the higher the fat in the diet. The lower the fat in the diet, the lower the glucose spikes because of body remains sensitive to its insulin. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, Lewis, these people didn't have diabetes. I got diabetes. That's why, you know, it that worked out that way. But if you put, do that to a diabetic, forget it. You know, it's going to be the high carb diet that, that causes the spikes. But all I can say is stay tuned. <laughs> uh, there's going to be a, a two part two and part three. And I'm going to break down even for diabetics, how evidence based research has shown high fat diets are tied to worsening your insulin sensitivity. So in, and also decreasing the fat in the diet leads to the need for less insulin, even in just weeks. Stay tuned. 
If you want more information on diabetes health or just overall health, I invite you to join my Facebook group. The link will be in the comments or the description section. I'll also leave links uh, to the studies uh, that um, I talked about today. If you have any questions or uh, any other topics that you want addressed, just message me or leave, leave a comment in the comment section. And I'd love to make a video for you too.